Okay, first things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Times 4 and 5. I'm showing off the Illuminous Superior Screen Paint sprayed on Micro Mesh. Now, I did this demonstration before. Uh, I did it on a much smaller scale. I told you I was going to build me a much bigger screen, which I have right now. It's hanging from my ceiling. Just to show you how amazing the angle gain is, look at this. And we have light pushing through the screen from the front to the back. There's light pushing all the way around the screen. So and keep in mind when you spray this formula, and it has to be sprayed on, you don't want to roll this on. and just shows you how it reacts to different surfaces. And like I said, with this technology having the ability to pull that ambient light rejection technology, you can have lights filtering throughout the entire screen and it's not gonna affect it one bit. We got light surrounded all around the screen. One of the problems you run into when you're doing front and rear projection is if you have too much light in the back of the screen, that could fade the screen for the front. And if you have too much light going through the uh, front of the screen, it could fade it for the back. show you on an angle what this looks like though it's light in contact with the screen nothing we do over here that it's different it's the same I'm always doing a different demonstration you can notice that I'm always using different projectors different surfaces different screens building different screens just showing you what you can do with this stuff Now something like this would be fantastic if you're doing an art show or an exhibit or something like that. Or doing advertising in your storefront. This is where micro mesh is absolutely fantastic. Well, look at the angle gain on it. Look how it shows a solid image. On an angle. 190 degree view and angle with this stuff. Were to walk in front of the projector, you don't see anything. Last time I did this, I had people offering all kinds of strange ideas on what they're trying to figure out what it is. I just said micro mesh in the video. All this light in the screen, that's why I pulled it up close to the ceiling. There it is over there.
Man, I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. I'm gonna show you something really cool. And before my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminous. Luminous 4K screen paint using the ambient light rejection technology gain times four and five. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Take out some of the lights in the environment. Hope I don't trip over anything. I'm gonna get all my lights out here. I'm gonna show you how cool this stuff is. And there it is on my screen. See how faded and washed out it looks? That's a 4200 lumen projector. And you can see how washed out and faded it looks up on the white. The water is supposed to be a deep blue, not a faded white. There's the back of it. This would look pretty good in Disney World. This is coated. This is micro mesh coated with our superior. And then come back over here. Put the lights back on. Now watch how fast that white fades. The minute I start pulling on these overhead lights. See what you get. Completely washed out. When you, when you use those white screens and all the other nonsense light screen paints, those images are not really ambient light rejection. They can't pull up images with the lights on. They'll fade fast. All right. Oops. That's me. I told you in every video, you will notice I would trip over something in every video. It's not because I'm clumsy, it's because I got a lot of stuff here on the floor and I'm walking around with a camera. I don't want to trip over and break anything expensive I have in here in the shop. But tell me, is that cool to look at or what? And here we are doing it with the lights on. Just to show you the angle gain on this. That's the angle gain on the screen with all that light hitting the screen. But that looks pretty cool with the lights out. I think I'm gonna do me, I'm gonna do some demonstrations with the lights out using the screen paint. Let's do one more. I'm gonna cover myself up and block out the screen so you can't see anything. Anything right? See right through it. There's our dancing girl. Look at the angle gain on the screen. Next to the light, panning straight right through it. Now keep in mind, there's light pushing right through the screen, pushing right through the image on both sides. This is all coated with superior. This shows you how you can utilize our screen paint to do more. Let me show you the distance of where my projector is sitting. My projector is sitting probably between 15 and 16 feet back from the screen. Alright again, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless. I want to show you something really quick. 
These are the wallpaper screens. So someone was asking me, can they be portable? Yes, so this is one hanging on the wall. This is one I just rolled up a few minutes ago. This one we had hanging up on the ceiling. This is a portable one. You can actually, when you roll them and get done, just roll them up, store them anywhere you want. And keep in mind, when you actually unroll them, they will lay flat every single time. This is a customer screen that was already ordered about a couple of days ago. That's gonna be shipping out very soon. Probably tomorrow, we're gonna to start working on that and get that out of the way so he can have his screen home and he can enjoy it. All right, thank you all for your time. I gotta go, I gotta get back to work, and God bless.